All right, so after a quick chat with uh, uh, somebody in one of the groups talking about uh, how to get a little bit more power out of the uh, single servo setup using uh, a shorter servo horn. So I've gone ahead and I've rigged up the setup on my second 64. So you can see I'm using an alloy, alloy servo head and I'm in the middle position there. And what I've done is I've flipped the servo over. So the reef servo is usually mounted inside the chassis like this. I've flipped it over like this so I can get the, uh, um, the rod end and the ball uh, out of the way of hitting the actual servo itself. Cause you need to have a, a, a different set of motion with the original piece on there. If you, if you shorten up the rod, uh, you're going to end up with conflict. <clears throat> if you shorten up the rod, you're going to end up with conflict hitting the, um, the, the, the push rod into the actual servo itself. They'll like bang into each other. So you need to do this in order to give free, clear movement on the servo horn with a shortened position for the uh, push rod to be mounted. So this is how I got it set up here. I've gone ahead and now right now, this here is a box stock uh, 64. It even has the original uh, tow links. So it's got all that tow in. The only thing that's on it are the uh, Red Cat Racing mod wheels. This is nothing done to it, even the original battery. Uh, I have done the magnet mount so I can put on my 64 body and uh, take it off and on real easy. So that's pretty much the only thing I've done aside from the uh, modified push rod and servo uh, servo horn. So let's uh, see how this hops with the uh, with the standard battery pack in there. There's no weights whatsoever. This is a uh, running on the 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 box original battery. There's no BEC on the RC, but I will pop a a 2S battery in there anyways. I'll power up the um, the receiver and then do some hopping with it so you can see what it would be like if you do get a BEC on it. So let's go ahead and power this sucker up. All right, so you can see we got a, a super slow RC. And the uh, front servo acts exactly the way it does normally. But let's get the body on there. I'm just gonna do this on camera so you see I'm not mess making uh, you know, any changes or anything like that. While putting this in there on or nothing. All right. We got the car, uh, box stock 64. And you'll notice, I mean, right off the bat, I mean, it's, it's, this is really with the, the nickel plated battery. So it's not going to be a, a, a hard hitting servo with this battery pack in there. Put that servo up there, get a little bit of bounce action going. But I mean, as it is, this servo hits harder than it would without having, uh, with just having the stock set up. But what y'all really want to see is how this thing is going to hit if you have a little bit more voltage. Now, if you want to see it stall like, uh, like a lot faster without having uh, without having to hit it once or twice. You can always put an extra weight back in there, but what I personally like is to have it set up so that it's not sitting on the back bumper. Now from the factory, this is the way it is. When you, when you pull it out from the box, 
it sits on the back bumper like this from factory and you have to make the adjustments in order to prevent it from doing that you got to adjust the weight balance and everything in order to stop it from actually sitting on that bumper but as it is out the box this is what i'm demonstrating here so you'll see what it is so now we're going to pop in uh, a 2s battery and see what kind of hop action we get off that Unplug, turn off this. Disconnect this battery. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna pull out the ESC connection from the, uh, the receiver. So there's no ESC going into the receiver. We're gonna get the power through the battery directly. I'm just gonna put this in in the place of the in the place of that battery of the uh, the ESC plug. There we have it in there. Tuck that into the that's that right now. So now we got <clears throat> now we got uh, a 2S battery powering. Now we got a 2S battery. Uh, powering the system pop that body back on all right let's see how she hops now so you notice right off the bat that the, uh, the servo is racking a little bit stronger That. Oh, and I also uh, what I also did was I, I uh, removed the drive shafts. That's why the the car can roll so freely. This way you can actually see what the the, the hop action of the RC is because these are very very stiff. So this will be, this will be a, as if you did a, a drive shaft mod. I'll be on that switch hand. There you have it. So I mean, I hope uh, this type of mod is helpful to anybody trying to get a little bit more pop out their uh, single servo setup. I personally dig it quite a bit, but we gotta be honest and we gotta be real. At the end of the day, this is not gonna outperform a dual servo setup. A dual servo setup hits harder and it naturally puts a little bit more weight into the front of the RC and this is going to give you that better balance to prevent you from sitting on the bumper make you tap that bumper and come down but I mean even as you see just with this setup alone stock battery no weight we're able to bang that bumper and hit it hard enough to to knock the car back down and every now and then we do get stalled but this is a completely stock 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 uh, setup even with that uh i mean you, you get a good idea of what the serv the, the rc would run like with uh, basically the the stock setup just a, a lipo battery uh, a bec and uh, a reduced like a, a a shorter servo horn with a modified push rod for the front suspension 
so yeah i hope that uh you know anybody looking for a little more hit out there uh single servo setup i mean it's not going to give you a whole lot you also got to keep in mind this servo is completely unprogrammed it's not been turned up but there's no juice added to it that was literally how it comes from the factory so i mean you're not going to get a whole lot of extra hit just by reducing the servo like that but i mean if you want to get the most that you can get out your system that's a, a good way to do it